welcome to Vogue's very first Fashion Week online. I hope this site inspires you to shop all you can here and it inspires you to raise lots of money for the amazing charities they have on here, including my own, the Cheryl Cole Foundation, which helps youngsters to realise their potential. I think if you were to take 10 women and say to them, would you like to design your own shoe? Nine point five of them would say yes. It's just like a dream job. I mean, it's amazing to be able to design your own shoes. It's crazy. It's something I've always admired, you know, a great shoe or a good boot that makes you feel good, but never really thought about giving myself the opportunity to do it. So I've had the best time having this experience. I mean, the creative side's always the most fun because you get to have creative input and I love creating new things. And I've learned a lot too about what goes into actually making a shoe. So all in all, I've just had a really good learning experience. I mean, when stylist pick asked would I like to be involved in the project, it was like the best thing ever. I just went into overdrive of looking at shoes that I'd worn previously, trial and error that I've done before, from everything from being on the stage to catwalk I've done, to red carpets and, and having uncomfortable experiences, loving a shoe, hating a shoe. All the reasons and all the trial and error I've experienced, I put into my experience of doing the shoe. Amazing people from Stylist Pick that you just put your ideas from your brain to and their creativity and them as a team create the end product which is actually pretty fascinating. I couldn't believe that I had a meeting with these people and then two years later I had a shoe, like a little baby, like an actual shoe. I think it's very important that you reach a point where you accept your body shape, your height, what things suit you, what things don't. I mean, we all want to look at Giselle and say, wow, I'd love to wear those leggings, and we get them and we don't look good in them because it's Giselle's shape and we have to accept that, oh, I have to accept I'm never going to be six foot two. So when you do that and you start to dress for yourself and what makes you look good, then you feel comfortable. So I think it's important to just figure that out first.